In Update 2.24, TouchChat added a button action that creates a whiteboard. Let's take a look at how you create your very own. A whiteboard is a useful tool to support communication. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to add a whiteboard to a couple different vocabulary files, but know that you can use this button action in any file to create a whiteboard. Think of the whiteboard as a digital piece of paper, reusable space for drawing, writing, and scribbling. First, let me tell you a little bit about Communication Journey Aphasia. It is a vocabulary option in TouchChat that contains vocabulary and features to support people with aphasia. This file is intended to be customized to meet the needs of the individual. There are some wonderful resources on the TouchChat website to help you learn about Communication Journey Aphasia and how to personalize the file based on the client's needs. This is a really great place to insert a whiteboard. A whiteboard provides an option for the individual and the communication partner to communicate through drawing, reading, and writing text and still access the vocabulary already laid out. Where you create a whiteboard button will depend on what pages populate your file. I selected the I'm Stuck page for this demo. First, I'll go into edit mode. Then I'm going to load a template page that I'm going to make a copy of. I want to be able to use this copy to create my own aphasia whiteboard page. Now I'll load that copy and I'm going to rename it now. I often add a number or a dot in front of the name just to make it easier to find my page. I'm stuck. I'm now going to change the size of the button so that I have a larger area for my whiteboard. So in this case, I'm going to use three rows and three columns. Now I need to link my button with the page I just created, and I have a blank button here. So I'll edit this button, call it a whiteboard. I will select an image by searching. I'll change the button action from speech message to navigate. And I'm going to navigate to the page that I created. No animation and now I'll save it. I still need to make the button that I actually want to be the whiteboard, um, a whiteboard with that button action. So now that I've got that set up, I'm going to go ahead and change that to the actual whiteboard button action. I could have done that when I edited it earlier. And now I can draw. In this example, I will create a whiteboard in two locations. One I will use for drawing and the other I will use as a place to begin scribbling or writing.
In this one, I won't be using a template. I will just create a page from scratch just because I'm looking to have the most amount of whiteboard space. So first I'll edit my button and I'm gonna label it with a whiteboard. And in this case, I'm going to create the board and the button kind of at the same time. So in this one, I will select my image here, and then when I go to my actions, I'm gonna go ahead and navigate, and I haven't created the page, but I'll go ahead and create the navigation. Selecting the plus in the corner allows me to create a brand new page. And again, I will use a number just to make it easier to find my page. And this one's going to be for my drawing page because I put it on my art page. So I'll save it from here. And because I'm kind of saving steps, I'm linking it all together. So you'll see it's navigating to that drawing page. Now I need to go to that actual page and edit it. So I'll get out of edit mode, go to the page. And now I'm going to go in and edit. I'd like to have a home button so I can get back. So I'm going to copy that from an existing page, which I'll go to the template and I can copy that home button. I'm also going to create a new button because I want to be able to navigate back in case I don't want to go all the way back home. And so for that, typically it's a left arrow. Find it easy to search that way. I'll set my button action to a navigate back so that it will navigate back a page. I also want to change the background to be uh, the same color as what the home button is. So I could either copy and paste the style or simply select white since I'm already in there. Now I'm going to create one button and then I will resize that one. So this is going to be my main button that will be my whiteboard. So I'm going to change the color so that I have a white background. And now I need to change the button size so that it'll take up the whole page. So I can go ahead and use six rows and I'll use nine columns. I need to edit the button again to make it so that it will be a whiteboard. So I'll change the button action to a whiteboard. And then I have four blank buttons on the left here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make them a button just cause it felt funny to have it blank. I'll resize that button and I need to have four rows, not five. Exit out of that and now I can draw. Okay, I'd like to make a copy of this page because I'm going to link it to a page in the keyboard area. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that page. I'll go over to my keyboard. I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to create a button here. So I'll create one that is for the whiteboard. Going through the same steps that I went through before. And this time I'm going to navigate to that copy. And I'd like to rename that page just so I can make sure that I keep track of it. So I'm going to rename it so that it's a scribble page. I now I have two wonderful places that I can use a whiteboard. Draw. Ta-da! 
These are the tools in the whiteboard that allow you to change color, the thickness of the lines, erase or undo your drawings. You'll find this in the manual that you can find online as well. Thank you for joining us and follow us on social media for other supports.